Welcome to the Design Knit 8 video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a graded garment using the file grade option for original pattern drafting section of the program. We'll be taking a size small pants shown here and a size extra large pants file and creating the, the grading for the medium and large garment pieces that are between these two garment sizes. So let's get started. The rules for garment grading are that you need to have the same number of pieces in the garment in each of the two shaping files. You need to have the same names of the pieces and the same roughly positioned points of the pieces within each garment file. We're going to use just the front for this exercise because it's difficult to grade more than one piece at a time since we're rookies at this we're going to use just the pants front so I'm highlighting this I'm saying delete with my delete key delete with this key delete with this key okay I'm gonna say file and save this as uh, 2004 small a and I'm gonna replace that's okay and then I want to open up my extra large and I want to do the same thing. I want to delete these garment pieces. And I'm going to have my, that's my pants front for my garment piece. I'm going to say file, save as, and that's going to be XL, um, B. Okay. And we can save that. Okay. I'm going to turn my measured adjustment on. I want to measure from this point in the waistband to this point in the waistband. When we use our measure adjustment, remember we click on the first point and then clockwise to the second point. I could have used the crotch as a measurement. I could have used the inseam as a measurement. They all work exactly the same if you measure the same points on each garment piece in the two different shaping files. So I know now this is 31.5. I'm going to say options, units of measurement. You must be in centimeters for the grading. We're going to grade it down to millimeters precision uh, by multiplying by 10, and you just can't get that kind of precision when you're working in inches. Normal units, not stitches and rows, and centimeters, definitely okay. So this distance here is 31.5 centimeters. Let's go back and let's open up file A. And it says for this one, we've done the measured adjustment again, 23.1 centimeters. So we're going to write those two numbers down. 23.1 times 10 is 231 for the precision. 31.5 gives us 315 for the large size. So now we're ready with the information. We're going to say file and grade. It's going to ask us what we want for the small garment piece. And we want this 2004A. And it's going to ask, what is the size? And the size is 231. And that's that extra times 10. And it's not going to be a chest or weights. It's just an other measurement. The other nominal size is uh, correct. It's shapes 2004 XLB. That's the extra large size. And the nominal size is 31.5. But again, we've multiplied it by 10 to get 315. This is because you can't put in decimal points in these garments. And again, it's other. OK. The next thing it's going to ask is to specify the sizes. I have here 231 and 315. The name prefix I want to use is 2004 underscore. And the location of the files, I'm going to put it on my, my documents, Design the 8, Shapes, Karen. And that's where it will be filed OK. Now, bring up your calculator. What we need to do is we need to take the 315 minus the 231 is equal to 84. This 84, we, have, we want two points in between, one for the medium, one for the large, and then we add one more point for the base point, the small. So that means we need to divide this by 3, 2 for the medium and large, and 1 for the baseline. And that's equal to 28. So we're going to take our 231, that's our base small size, plus the 28, 
equals 259. And we're going to put that down right here as 259. This is the medium size. The next size that we want is plus another 28 equals 287. And that's going to be our large size. So we have here small, medium, large, extra large. And we can plus 28 here. And it should be 315, and that says that we've done our math correctly. It will create files that will say 2004 underscore 259. Let's say OK to continue. It's telling us now a report of these are the files that it will be created, the 259 and the 287. This one will be medium. This one will be large. Say create. And now it's, it says it's created two shaping files. OK. And let's say piece and import a piece and we want to here it is 2004 259 I'm going to import a piece from this I want to import the front right okay and I'm going to call this one front medium let's say piece import a piece from the 287, 2004 underscore 287, that's the large. And I'm going to say the front. And I'm going to call this one front large. OK. And then I want to import piece, import a piece from the extra large B. This is the one that was the top of the nominal sizes. And we're going to call this one front x large okay and you can see here this is our this is our small garment size medium large extra large and you can see how they have graded uh, in between each other perfectly thank you